Well, there you have it, folks. Oh, this ain't no Campbell's. Whoa, fogged up the camera. All right, so here's what we got going. We've taken all these um, thigh bones, all right? And these are, instead of throwing these out, I saved them. We've got them boiling in water. And uh, so it's been about an hour. And now this, this chicken, there's a lot of meat on there. You see that? And it's starting to fall off the bone. I'm going to give this another 10 minutes or so. We're going to see. I want this meat to just start literally. You guys can't see. I'm sorry from the, the steam. So i got to clean my camera. Oh, there we go. That was a quick clean. All right, so now the steam's off my camera. Anyway, I'm going to let this go another 10 minutes or so. But we want this meat just falling off this bone like that. Just, you know, okay, and we're going to strain it. And there's a little bit of work to go through to get the bones out. We're going to go ahead and strain this chicken out. And look at all the little chunks, right? We'll take this chicken. We're going to let it cool off. Now, in order to speed the process, here's what I'm going to do. Set this aside a moment. I'm going to take this out. If I can, without spilling it. Alright, now, in order to debone this chicken, here's what I'm going to do. Cold water. Let's get some fresh water in my sprayer. Alright. There we go. We're going to cool this stuff down right now. That should be enough. Absolutely, it's okay, it's chilled. Now I can actually work with that without burning myself. All right, you wanna see how to debone this stuff? Here, here you go. Grab a bone, look at it. Just go ahead, there's little pieces of meat on it. You don't have to get silly and dig in deep. There's plenty of chicken here. 10 pounds of chicken legs, chicken thighs, chicken quarters we call them. That's what this is. See the little backbone? Comes right off, but look. You can get rid of that little nasty stuff there. Look, just chicken, chicken meat. You know, and just get, throw, have your garbage next to you and take these bones, look at that. All right, that might be gross to somebody, so just get rid of the brown stuff if you don't like it. All right, there are no rules. It's all edible. And I basically just kind of take uh, the cooked meat, now look, that one didn't have as much on because it already came off. Look at a lot of this. Just go through it. All right, folks. It took me less than five minutes. If you recall the last video, we went ahead and bought 10 pounds of chicken legs and thigh quarters. But I had to clean the bones off of them, right? I, so I, I cut off out of the thighs. The backbone? I think it's the backbone. Look how much meat I've got. <laughs> Look at this is from stuff you would throw away. There's no bones left in here. Right, three pounds. Two, three pounds of meat, and I only use half of it. Look at, that's going to be in the soup. It's amazing how much meat is there. And it fell right off the bone after about an hour, hour and 15 minutes of boiling. All right, so let's get this in the soup. Now, we've got celery, okay? Now, with the celery, here's what you want to do. You're going to take the parts of the celery that you normally don't eat. See these leafy parts? Take all the leaves. Take the stuff that's in the center of the celery stalks. The stuff that you're not going to eat and chop that up. Don't use the regular celery stalks. You can. We got onion and carrot. Now, 
One thing I normally do is I'll throw the onions and the carrots in a skillet and I'll simmer them for, I don't know, 20, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then throw them in the stock pot. Um, today, I'm just going to take it easy. We're just going to put them right in, okay? A little salt and pepper, throw the vegetables in, celery, carrots, onion, and we're just going to let this simmer for a couple hours with the chicken as well and a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. And I think we're going to be good. We probably, I got a little clove of garlic over here. So we probably should put some of this in there too. All right, so there it is. Pretty simple, and it costs almost nothing. Well, there you have it, folks. I went ahead and did some noodles. I, I'm kind of doing the Campbell's chicken noodle soup thing here with these spaghetti noodles. <laughs> but um, here it is. And um, I like my soup thicker, kind of like a stew almost, okay? I went ahead and just used the one uh, 32 ounces or whatever of the chicken broth and about a gallon and a half of water. And uh, this is kind of what I came up with, but um, consistency-wise. But this is delicious. It absolutely smells amazing and it probably cost me for the whole batch, $4. I got less than $5 into this thing. We're going to be eating soup. We are going to be eating soup for the next couple days. Now, here's the thing, too. You can always freeze it. I know. What? Yeah. Freeze it. Put in some Tupperware. Whatever, you know. Your little return, your little, uh, go ahead and put it in some storage containers. Boom. Boom. Warm it up. Let it thaw. Warm it up. Boom. Good to go. Anyway, four bucks. I, I, you, you, you can literally eat for a dollar, less than a dollar a day, and eat good. This is amazing. It tastes amazing. Throw some crackers in there. Crackers. Yeah, throw some crackers in there. Why not? All right, look at the celery. Oh, it's all soft. Carrot, celery, onion. Forgot about the onion. Onion. A little bit of noodle. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God, that's good. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh, this ain't no Campbell's. Wow. Is that good?